10 things you should know about the Tonewood amp. The Tonewood amp is non-invasive and stuck to the back of your guitar with neodymium magnets. There's no woodwork involved in the installation process. That being said, it isn't flimsy and won't fall off randomly if that's something you're worried about. There are a bunch of videos on the installation process on YouTube already, so I really won't get into it. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's got eight effects. The first three are reverb and the fourth one is a delay. It's also got a tremolo, an Ottawa and an overdrive if you want to use it. Realistic Basically, I mostly stick to the reverb and the delay for my playing. Each effect has three parameters that you can set. For example, the delay has your speed, a reverb and a feedback. The device has a memory bank and you can save up to 10 presets. It isn't an actual amplifier and won't do anything to boost the sound coming from your guitar naturally. If you're thinking of playing uh, to a room just with a tonewood amp that really won't work out. Think of it more as a multi-effects processor rather than an amplifier. You can take a line out from the tonewood amp and essentially it removes the need for a reverb or a delay pedal. It also has a volume knob that you can use to mute your guitar in cases, especially if your guitar doesn't have a volume knob inbuilt on it already. The Tonewood amp runs on three Duracell batteries. You could also use rechargeable batteries, however, I stick to Duracell batteries. Duracell AA batteries are readily available and if I ever run low on charge, I could just replace it with a spare one that I usually have in my bag at all times and uh, they last really long. Note that Everready or certain other brands of batteries won't have the power to run the Tonewood amp. You could remove the Tonewood amp the same way you installed it. Uh, it's something that I do when I'm traveling. I remove the Tonewood amp and pack it in my suitcase and use my clothes to cushion it. The company is super supportive and when I got mine for the first time, I put in whatever batteries I had lying around in the house and obviously they weren't powerful enough to run the amp properly. So I freaked out a little bit and I contacted them on Facebook and they actually called me back and walked me through the entire process and uh, yeah Duracell batteries worked fine and uh, that's what I've been using ever since. So I got mine shipped to a friend's place in Kansas and he brought it back to India when he came here but right now I think it ships directly to India. When I got it, it there was some issues with shipping to our country but a lot of people here have it now so I'm guessing that problem has been sorted out. I've done a demo for the amp before demonstrating most of its effects and how I use it mostly. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link here. Thank you for watching and if you have any other questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below.